honestly, this one also goes hand in hand with it. Master Gardener, another yeah. weird one that we got to catch at the New York Film Festival. It is the newest by Paul Schrader, who says he's going to be collabing with uh, Tarantino pretty soon. But this is supposed Ooh. to be the end of a trilogy. Four movies. I can't remember the run he was going on of these like very interpersonal tales of yeah. forgiveness and such. It was first reformed the card counter in this the like kind of yep. lonely man trilogy with uh, all these men writing in their diaries to themselves. Is this man not the loneliest? <laughs> oh yeah, I mean it. It feels like well. What's weird is while while the characters are getting darker and darker, starting with you know Ethan Hawke's. Uh, priest going to the Abu Ghraib torture, and now Joel Edgerton is a proud boy. This is weirdly like the more hopeful of the three. There's kind of like a, a too strange, hopeful. Yeah, there's like a strange sweetness to it that personally feels like sh- poorly calculated to me. I don't know <laughs> if they got the ingredients just right. I don't know if you saw this report that came out this week that uh, Tiff report. actually rejected this film, and and Cameron Whoa. Bailey, the head of the festival. Uh, said that it was over concerns over the way that the movie handles racism because it's it's a very kind Whoa. of confrontational movie given that it's about Joel Edgerton's proud boy character kind of developing a relationship with a young black woman. Uh, so I don't know if I would we kick, saw it. Have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kicked it out? No, no. Fin- finish yeah. your point. I did not know about exactly. that. Really, Cameron. Right, like, that's the kind of thing that I feel like... It's not like it's an explicitly racist movie or whatever. It's something that, like, maybe you can let audiences decide what's going on here. Didn't y'all have that Joker movie that y'all claimed WB was going to take away because they didn't have the copyright (laughs) to it, but you couldn't allow... Yeah. Man, that's ridiculous. They played Skin. Mm Mm-hmm. The movie where... What's his name? Yeah, Skin is a much worse depiction of race. Way worse. They sympathize with his entire family. Uh, That is a weird thing interesting when we saw this at the new york film festival we went in not knowing that he was supposed to be that it almost plays it off Mm -hmm. as a reveal but the trailer just does let you know that um and there is a specific sequence halfway uh, the climax of the movie i fully call it a climax of the movie (laughs) where our entire audience at what eight nine o'clock in the morning at new york (laughs) something like that (laughs) just fell flat someone laughed Someone was disgusted. I felt some people leave. And this was the one where we were sitting front row. Alina had to chug my cup of coffee because she could not believe what we were watching on screen. It is a little over the top, so I'm not surprised that there was pushback to it. But banning it is kind of weird. Interesting. Uh, yeah. I'd be curious to see I mean, uh, uh, more takes on this one, especially because of that, yeah. uh, that one scene. Look, Paul Schrader is a provocateur, right? Like, he makes films that are very interesting, and they're always about, like, hot-button issues. And I think he's doing a really risky thing here in trying to explore what what is our capacity for forgiveness, and are some people irredeemable? And I feel like there's going to be a lot of audiences who watch this movie and feel the same thing. So maybe maybe that means this is a successful movie, but, like, it is... I don't know. Like the, a lot of the scenes feel very stilted in the way the dialogue is that. delivered, which is which is not unusual for Paul Schrader, but it's it just those side characters of the film. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I this is one of those movies that I I like to say like is a lot better when you have already watched it than when you're watching it because when you're watching it, it feels kind of laughable at, at certain points. You would say Joel Edgerton gave a solid performance, though. I, I do think so. I think he's he's solid in the film. You know, he takes that sort of uh, understated, very internalized characters that Paul Schrader likes to uh, put at the center of his films and gives him a depth and gives him uh, layers that feel understandable. I just, I guess I just wish the script was a little bit more solid here. I, I, I agree with that. Uh, to me, Sigourney Weaver was maybe a little too good. <laughs> she was a little too good in this movie yeah. <clears throat> for what she was uh, playing there. So Master Gardener, out and limited. Uh, if you're curious on it, if you've seen the other ones in this trilogy we said it is, uh, wrap it up. Finish this one. Yeah. I, I think it's the one that probably tests your patience, uh, if not more than the other ones. Um, so Master Gardener, out in theaters. 